Statistics is both a formal science and a theory of scientific inquiry. It is also a branch of mathematics that involves making sense of data. Data are quantities obtained from some type of systematic observation. By using statistical techniques, researchers work with data to organize, categorize, condense, describe, illustrate, analyze, compare, synthesize, evaluate, and infill. A good day to everyone! Welcome to the webinar on educational statistics with the topic of Hypothesis Tests for a Single Population Using P-Value to be discussed by Group 34. These are the members of Group 34. We have our leader, Mr. Lester V. Gonzalez, the secretary, Ms. Divine Pedro Rosario, together with the group members, Mr. Rico A. Antigua, Jeremy A. Duran, RGD Escobio, Jezebel M. Almero, Jennifer A. Alcadno, Clifford G. B. Cabahog, and Mom Vanessa S. Cortez. To start with, let's have a prayer to be led by Mr. Clifford G. B. Cabahog from Libertad National High School, Kawayan, Masbate. Our loving and gracious Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we come to you as we are to have our topic today. May you guide us and help us in order for us to teach well and learn more things significant to the profession we're in. May you continue to bless us in order for us to grow in knowledge and wisdom so we can also share it to our dear learners. As we grow in our profession, we pray that you'll never leave us for we know that nothing is impossible with you. Bless our instructor for this subject and bless everyone who listens. We ask this in your glorious name and in your generosity. In the name of Jesus, amen. To refresh up our mind, let's have a review to be facilitated by Ms. Cherry May Duran from Pawikan National High School, Katangin Masbate, together with Mom Jennifer A. Alcano from Liberato P. Tagorda Senior High School, Balot Masbate. A hypothesis testing is one of the most important concepts in statistics. In hypothesis testing, statistical tests are used to check whether the null hypothesis is accepted or rejected. A statistical test is a formal technique that relies on the probability distribution for reaching the conclusion concerning the reasonableness of the hypothesis. This hypothetical testing related to differences are classified as parametric test and non-parametric test. Parametric test, it is a statistical test that makes assumptions about the parameters of the population distribution which one's data is drawn. In parametric test, the data is normally distributed. This test assumes the data approximately follows a normal distribution. There is a complete information about population, the measure of central tendency in the parametric test is mean, it is a quantitative data. Parametric tests are used for interval and ratio data. It is more powerful than non-parametric tests. Examples of parametric tests are t-test, z-test, and ANOVA. There are step-by-step -step of hypothesis testing. First one, Specify the null hypothesis. In this step, the null hypothesis of a test always predicts no effect or no relationship 
between variables. Second step, specify the alternative hypothesis. In here, we state our research prediction of an effect or relationship. Third step, we will set now the significance level. So in this step, we are now deciding whether to reject or feel to reject your null hypothesis. Fourth step, calculate the test statistic and corresponding p-value. In this step, we calculate whether our initial hypothesis was supported by our results or not. And lastly, drawing a conclusion. Ma'am Jezebel Almero, also from Liberato P. Tagorda Senior High School, Balad Masbate will give us introduction to our topic for today's webinar. Introduction There are many different parameters that you can test. There is a test for the mean, as introduced with a z-test. There is also a test for the population P. This is where you might be curious if the proportion of students who smoke at your school is lower than the proportion in your area. Or you could question if the proportion of accidents caused by teenage drivers who do not have a driver's education class is more than the national proportion. To test a population proportion, there are a few things that need to be defined first. Usually, Greek letters are used for parameters and Latin letters for statistics. When talking about proportions, it makes sense to use P for proportion. The Greek letter P is for pi, but that is too confusing to use. Instead, it is best to use P for the population proportion. That means that a different symbol is needed for the sample proportion. The convention is to use the symbol P with hat, known as P hat. In this way, you'll know that P is the population proportion and that P hat is a sample proportion related to it. Now, proportion tests are about looking for the percentage of individual who have a particular attribute. You are really looking for the number of successes that happen. Thus, a proportion test involves a binomial distribution. For the discussion proper, let's have the first discussant, Mr. Lester V. Gonzalez from Katayngan National High School, Katayngan Masbate. Thank you, Ma'am Divine Fair Rosario. So this time, I will discuss the five steps in solving problems or at this hypothesis on the population proportion. The first step we have is state the null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis. Ano ang dapat natin tatandaan kung nagpo-formulate ng null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis? Kapag sa null hypothesis ay laging equal naman yan, and while alternative hypothesis kapag one-tailed test yan, Ang palaging ginagamit natin na symbol ay less than or greater than. And then kapag two-tailed test naman, ang gagamitin natin na symbol ay not equal. So tatandaan natin itong symbol so that we cannot be confused sa pagpa-formulate ng null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis. So next we have second step. Choose the level of significance. So these are the common level of significance. We have alpha equals 0 0.01, 0 0.05, 0 0.025, 0 0.025, and 0 0.1. So let's proceed now to the third step. Calculate the appropriate test statistic. So, here are the formulas. P hat equals x over n. So, if you're going to find the P hat, 
that will be the formula and the second formula we have z equals p hat minus p over all over square root of p q over n where p is the population proportion and n sample size z test statistics and p yung may curve sa taas is observed proportion next we have the fourth step determine the critical value or p value so look at the table paano natin ma-identify ang critical value so kailangan natin uh, malaman kung one tailed or two tailed test ba siya. So, paano natin malalaman kapag one tailed? If it is greater than or less than. So, dito, ka, uh, dito kayo titingin ngayon sa one tailed test. Kapag left tailed test, negative yung sign ang gagamitin. Pag right tailed test naman, ibig sabihin, greater than yung symbol so positive ang gagamitin natin so pag not equal naman ibig sabihin total test siya so dito kayo titingin sa last row so using level of significant ito yung corresponding critical value natin so next we have decision the decision will be either to reject or fail to reject the null hypothesis so, ano yung decision natin? Paano natin malalaman kapag nag-reject tayo ng null hypothesis? So, kapag ang computed value natin ay nasa rejected region. So, we fail to reject the null hypothesis kapag yung computed value natin ay nasa acceptance region. So, in conclusion, we must Remember these three statements. First, if the computed Z statistics or Z sub com is greater than or less than the tabular or critical value or Z critical, reject the null hypothesis. So that is for two tailed. And the second one, if the computed Z statistics or Z sub com falls in the rejection region, reject the null hypothesis. And the third one, if the computed G statistics does not fall in the rejection region, fail to reject the null hypothesis. These are the illustrations for two tail test and one tail test. Kapag two tail test, there are two rejection regions. So in the middle is the acceptance region. Kapag one tail test naman, pag lip tail siya, so nasa left yung graph natin. Pag right tail test naman, nasa right yung graph natin. Example. A sample of 120 students is randomly selected from Masayahin National High School and 21 of them say they are left-handed. Test the null hypothesis that less than 22% of the students are left-handed by using alpha equals 0.05 as the level of significance. So first, state the null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis. So what will be the null hypothesis? So, ano yung ititest natin yung less than 22% of students are left-handed? So, your null hypothesis is population proportion is equal to 0 0.22. So, our alternative hypothesis is population 
proportion is less than 0 0.22. Since my word na less than, so this is one tail test. Okay? Number two, level of significance. Given na yun sa problem, which is alpha equals 0 0.05. And the third step, Calculate the appropriate test statistic. So, we will get first the given data. X equals 21. P equals 0 0.22. N equals 120. So, we use the formula. P hat equals X over N. Substitute the given data. Equals 21 divide 120 equals 0 0.175. So, we have now the value of observed proportion or the p-hat. And then, use the second formula, which is the computed value equals p-hat minus p all over square root of p times the quantity 1 minus p over n. Substitute, again, the given data, or given numbers. The p hat is 0 0.175 minus. Yung value ng p is 0 0.22 all over 0 0.22 times 0 0.78. So, 1 minus 0 0.22 is 0 0.78 over 120. So our computed value now is negative 1.190. Okay, for step number 4, get the critical value, which is a negative 1.645. So where can we get the critical value? We will use the table the level of significance. So, yung, yung level of significance natin, yung alpha is, yung ginagamit sa problem is alpha equals 0 0.05. So, since this done ito, so, yung word na this done, so, one tail test yeah, so, you will use the table in one tail test which is positive or negative 1.645. So since nasa left graph siya, so you, we will use so we will use the negative 1.645. So we have now the critical value. And for number 5, the decision. Okay. So since the computed test statistics or computed value equals negative 1.190 is, is greater than the critical value or it falls in the acceptance region while to reject the null hypothesis. So, yung, yung critical value natin ay negative 1.645 then yung computed value natin is negative 1.90 so nag-fall siya sa acceptance region. So, we are going to fail to reject the null hypothesis. So, in conclusion, therefore, we conclude that at 0 0.05 level of significance, there is not enough evidence that less than 22% of students are left-handed. My name is Rico Antigua and I'm a teacher from Simawa National High School. For example number two, the problem is here. Mr. C asserts that fewer than 5% of the bulbs that he sells are defective. Suppose 300 bulbs are randomly selected, each are tested, and 10 defective bulbs are found. Does this provide sufficient evidence for Mr. C to conclude that the fraction of defective bulbs is less than 0.05? Use alpha is equal to 0.01 and the p-value approach. For the solution, number one is to state the null hypothesis and the alternative hypothesis. 
So first, for the null hypothesis, we have the following equation, p is equal to 0 0.05, which also translate to the statement that the fraction of defective bulbs is equal to 0 0.05. And for the alternative hypothesis, we have the following equation, p is less than 0 0.05, which also translates to the statement that the fraction of the defective bulbs is less than 0 0.05. For number two, is to choose the level of significance. So in a problem, it is stated that the value of the alpha is equal to 0 0.01. Number three is the calculation of the appropriate test statistic. So we have this given, x is equal to 10, p is equal to 0 0.05, and the number of bulbs is equal to 300. So for the computation of the p hat, we have the formula x over n, which is equal to 10 over 300, is equal to 1 over 30 or 0 0.033. So for the computation of the z value, we have p hat minus the p value divided by the square root of p value multiplied by the quantity 1 minus p value all over n. So if you try to compute the following equation, by substituting the given in the equation, we have the answer of negative 1.35. Number four is to determine the critical value or the p value. So since this problem, since this um, computation is based on a one-tailed e-test and the level of significance or the value of the alpha is at 1%, so the critical value is equivalent to negative point negative 2.326 which is yung nasa upper left corner no table so for the number 5 which is the formulation of the decision since the computed test is statistics z is equal to negative 1.35 is equal to is greater than a critical value or it falls in the acceptance region, we have to fail to reject the null hypothesis. Number five, conclusion. Since uh, we failed to reject the null hypothesis, we now therefore conclude that at 0 0.01 level of significance, there is not enough evidence for Mr. C that fewer than 5% of the bulbs that he sells are defective. Okay, thank you for that detailed discussion, Mr. Antigua. For our last discussant, let's have Mr. R.J. D. Escobio from Tumalaytay National High School, Mandaon, Masbate. Hi, this is Archie Scobio. We are now on example 3. A politician claims that she will receive 60% of the votes in the upcoming election of a random sample of 200 votes. There were 100 who will surely vote for her. Test the politician's assertion at 0 0.05 level of significance. We will state the null hypothesis and the alternative hypothesis where the null hypothesis P is equal to 0 0.06 and the alternative hypothesis which, where P is not equal to 0.60. Given the level of significance, significance we have here, the level of significance is equal to 0 0.05. We have to calculate the appropriate test statistics. So in calculating, we have here the given our x will be equal to 100, our p is 0.60, and our n is equal to 200. So using the formula, we have here p x over n. Okay, so therefore we substitute p is equal to our x is 100 divided by our n equivalent to 200. That 
the quotient will be equal to one half or 0.5. Computing the ZCOM, we have where is equal to P minus P divided by the square root of the product of P and 1 minus P divided by the, the N. So computing it or substituting it, we have our P is equal to 0.5. Then our uh, P for 0.6 but based on the given, divided by the square root of 0.6 times the 1 minus p, which is equivalent to 0.4, where we are subtracting uh, 1 minus 0.6, that is 0.4, divided by our n equivalent to 200. So if you will solve that, we arrive at the answer negative 2.4. 887. Our Z critical will be it is positive or negative 1.960. So, in our decision, since the computed test statistics, our Z com is equal to negative 2.887, which is less than the critical value, or it falls in the rejection region. We simply reject the null hypothesis. For the conclusion, therefore, we conclude that 0 0.05 level of significance, there is enough evidence that a politician will receive 60% of the votes in the upcoming election. Thank you, everyone. To sum up our webinar, let's have Mom Vanessa S. Cortez. From Timistocles A. Mariola Sr. Memorial High School, Armenia Usod Masbate. I will be discussing the summary of forms for null and alternative hypothesis about a population proportion. The equality part of the hypothesis always appears in the null hypothesis. In general, a hypothesis test about the value of a population proportion represented by P must take one of the following three forms, where P sub O is the hypothesized value of the population proportion. And these are the three forms. One-tailed, lower tail, one-tailed, upper tail, and the two-tailed. For one tailed or the lower tail, now hypothesis is the population proportion is greater than or equal to P sub O or hypothesized proportion. And for alternative hypothesis, population proportion is less than to P sub O or hypothesized proportion. For one tailed upper tail, now hypothesis is the population proportion is less than or equal to P sub O or hypothesized proportion. Alternative hypothesis is the population proportion is greater than P sub O or hypothesized proportion. And for the two-tailed, null hypothesis is the population proportion is equal to P sub O or hypothesized proportion. And for alternative hypothesis, population proportion is not equal to P sub O or hypothesized proportion. On behalf of my group mates, thank you for watching and listening us today. I am Divine Pearl Rosario from Katayngan National High School, Katayngan Masbate, saying, Never stop learning because life never stops teaching. We hope that you learn something new and have a great rest of your day.